Hello everyone, it's me again. Uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, then welcome back. Uh, if you're new, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So guess what we're doing today? I'm very excited. I have uh, been waiting to do this for a while and uh, finally I got a chance to do it. It's time to replace the bell. Now, uh, So the replacement method today is we're gonna do it without tool, so without removing uh, uh, the bolt of the clutch and the vibrator. So we're gonna try that method and see how it work out. Um, I read a lot and they said it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple. So uh, I will go ahead and give it a try. So uh, right now, basically, uh, if you have the same scooter I have, you you need to remove the the air box and all the screws surrounding the cover so that's how you remove the cover and also you need to remove the kickstand um the kickstart too so uh let me remove all that and uh i'll get back to you all right cool so i finally took uh, all the screw out i took the cover out i'm trying to hang this up so it stay out of the way the air box and let me tell you So they said use your finger like this, try to compress this. But let me tell you, there's no way you can do it. I'm mean, not with my power. I think you need a lot of power to do this. Yeah. With with my strain, I I cannot even move that. So I guess we cannot do the quick way. So uh, I guess we have to do the old-fashioned way. So let me remove this screw, take it out, and try to get the bell out. Um, uh, I have an impact gun, um, so I can use that. Uh, I mean, this thing is tight. It's not even moving. Um, but what I would do is, mostly, I'm, I'm gonna mark this down. So I'm gonna mark this to the screw, so I know exactly the location when I screw it back in. So uh, just you a white a uh, black marker to mark it, so you can e easily um, uh, put it back in the the right way. So uh, let me try and remove that screw and uh, and I'll go back to you. <sighs> so okay, well, I I did give it a second try, you know, but I did try and push it in, and it's not all the way in yet. But man, that's the best I can do was. So I guess the only way is to take the screw out. So I already did uh, the marking right here on the screw. So uh, I know when uh, I put it back in, uh, I get to the right place. So let me take the screw out again, and uh, let me take the screw out and then uh, remove uh, the belt. All right. So I was able to remove the screw right here, as you can see. Uh, now. For for you know I uh, when I first bought this uh, I know sooner or later I have to replace the bell anyway so you can buy one of this tool right here to open it so the tool and the big gun okay so you can get this from eBay about six or seven dollar so basically it stop the wheel um, the vibrator from moving. So you can open the screw. So uh, if you don't have an impact gun, go ahead and get this tool right here. Uh, like I said, it's cost about six or seven dollar. Um, I bought this tool a long time ago because I know I'm gonna replace the bell anyway. So that's why I bought it. Uh, so if you have this tool, it's really easy to open it. Um, and uh, that's it. So the bell is gonna come loose, as you can see. Uh, so I'm just gonna take the bell out and then um, uh, take the bell out and uh, put the new one in. Uh, let's see, the new one is right here. So go ahead, put in. Uh, 
and screw back in uh, trying to clean all this uh, stuff dirt stuff uh, on there so uh, so it's easier uh, so since you have time to open it go go ahead and do it uh, so uh, uh, some people ask me like uh, which direction that uh, the bell is supposed to go so the bell can go either direction but you know as you can see with all the other bell right so as you if you can read the word um, the right way right here not upside down then uh, that's the direction you should put it in like for me like see they say bando so it's gonna be this way right Trying to clean it up and <sighs> clean up right here so it look nice. Maybe it's a good time for me just to so nice and clean. Why don't I just uh, use this time just check on the vibrator and see uh, if they have any flat spot in it. Okay, let's open this and see if they have any flat spot on it. So as you can see, there's uh, not really any flat spot on on the roller itself. Uh, it looked pretty good to me. Uh, let me take one out. See, there's no uh, flat spot. So basically, it looked pretty good. And there's not a lot of dirt in here anyway. So, um, But I'll go ahead and clean that up and uh, just reinstall uh, the back end. Check this one. Or oh, this one, let's see. Yeah, so it looks like it's pretty good. But uh, I'll go ahead and use the brush and try to clean all this thing up. And uh, since, you know, it's... Uh, since so we open it up, so so I'll be right back. So after using the brush, and I got the air compressor, blow all the dust out, clean all the roller. So I'll go ahead and install back in. None of the roller have a flat spot, so that's good. So put all the roller back in and uh, I'll go ahead and reinstall it back. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to complain say how come I didn't remove this uh, the seal right here. The little like of a paper seal. 
that go around it. Uh, you know what? Uh, I just like to have it like that. Uh, a lot of people say you don't need it, you go ahead and remove it, but for me, I think it's my keep uh, a seal on uh, the water, it might be in uh, dropping in here. Or if I have a leakage, uh, the oil over here, it drop in here, it might, uh, the, the, the seal itself might block it. In. So, but you know, I don't know, maybe uh, one of these days I'm gonna remove it, but for now I'm not. So, um, go ahead and, and, uh, and install all this. Uh, roll and everything back in uh, put in a new belt and uh, and, uh, and tight the, the, the nut back okay so I was able to get the screw back in and see the marking so it's aligned. So it's in. The bell is in. Everything looks good. All you want to do is move back and forth if you want to get it tight. So the bell look good. Everything look good. Uh, I'll go ahead and put every uh, other cover back in line like this the whole thing looks pretty clean to me so uh, I don't see a lot of dust in here so so that's a good sign so I get everything back in screw everything back in and uh, I'll go ahead and turn on the, the engine and see and see how it go but it should have no problem since I got everything in correctly. So this is the first time for me, but you know, the first time is always the hardest and after that it should be, should be uh, easier. So that's it. Um, I'll go ahead and um, install this back in and, uh, and do a test drive on it and see how it go. But uh, it should be good. So this is the, the old belt that I took it out. It uh, looks like it's still in pretty good shape. So, But you know what? Uh, you better change it uh, ahead of time rather than late early and late so I go ahead and keep this as a, as a spare and, uh, and do a test try on this and see how it go alright I said uh, that's it I guess this is the end of the video uh, for this video and uh, I'll see you guys next time alright uh, bye